In this video, I'm going to show you a tip that's going to save many of you lots and lots of time as you use Microsoft Word. And the tip is how to change the default font for all of your Microsoft Word documents. So as you can see, here I am in Microsoft Word, and I'm working on this wonderful document. And if I click on the text, you can see that the font for this document is set to Calibri. That's basically the default font. And it looks like it's 11 point font. Now for many people, that's perfect. That's exactly what they want. But if you find yourself changing the font type very often, maybe you prefer Arial, or maybe you prefer Times New Roman, or any of these other font types. Maybe the organization that you work for or the school where you teach has a style guide with a specific kind of font that you're supposed to use. You really don't have to change the font every time you use Microsoft Word. I'm just going to hold Control and tap A to select all of the text in this entire document. And then I'll go up here and manually change it to be, let's say, California FB font. And I'm going to do that again. Control A to select everything. In addition to changing the font type, I'm also going to change the font size. Let's say I like 12 point font. I've just changed it to 12 point font. So now that I have the font set up the way I want it to be, all I have to do to make these the default font options is simply to click and drag to highlight a portion of the text, right click on that, and then choose font. And here I can fine tune it if I need to. Small caps, all caps, etc. I don't necessarily recommend those options, but this is exactly what I'm looking for here. So now I can go down to the lower left corner and click set as default. Do I want this to be the default for this document only? If so, this really doesn't save me much time or effort. It really doesn't do anything for me for future documents. But look at this option, all documents based on the normal .dotm template. If I switch to that and click OK, look what happens now. If I click on File, and new, blank document, completely blank document, and they start typing, you'll notice that it came in with California FB font, and the size is 12. So that easily, that quickly, I've changed the default font type for Microsoft Word on this particular computer. Now I want you to notice that it also works not just with font type and font size, but it also works with font color. So let's test that out. It also works with bold, italics, underline, etc. So let's test this out. I'm going to click and drag to select this portion that has, I think, all of those format options that I just made. I'll right click, I'll choose font. This is all the same, but you can see it's showing the underline, it's showing the font, color, bold, and italics. Let's click set default, all documents, click OK. Now this would be a terrible mistake, I think, if I were to actually make this change and keep it. But I'll click to start a new document. Let's test it out. And it worked. This is bolded, italicized, underlined. The font color came through. It looks like the one feature that did not come through was the highlight color. Now, of course, if you ever regret what you've done, you can just select the text, remove underlining, italics, bold, all of the things that you've changed. You can go back to automatic, and I can switch to Calibri. I can switch back to 11 point font if I want to. And then I can right click font, set as default, all documents. And at this point, I'm back to the way it was before. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful, showing you how to change the default font type, size, and style so that you can customize it for the way you want it to be every time you open a new Word document. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see more information about those options in the description below this video. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel.